Hey guys, so let's go over a quick um, tutorial for the the do more sequence that we talked about in class. So this is a simple algorithm that just takes some Boolean numbers, reverses them, and then adds it to the end to make a more complex uh, sequence. So let's go ahead and start with a simple Boolean and zero, and we'll make that an integer. So for the sequence, if we want to continue with this, if this is a zero, we want to then make it a one. Or if this is false, we want to make it true. So we can use our not gate that we did in class the other day. And we end up with that being false and this being true. Or actually that being zero and this being true. So we need to make this an integer too. So we have 0 and 1. Then we want to combine these together. So we can merge it. So we get 0 and then 1. Now for that sequence to work, it needs to repeat this over and over again. So the next sequence that is added to this would then be 1 and 0. So to loop through all of these things, we actually need to use a plugin because Grasshopper doesn't like to do loops. It likes a continuous flow of data from one side to the other. So Anemone has the loops. You should have downloaded that already. It works basically in two parts, a loop end and a loop start. So for this, we need to plug in the number of times it loops if we want to reset the looping and what data is going to loop through there. So, so it takes both of these and you have to link them together. If the information flows in, it does its function, whatever it needs to do, and then it flows back into that and then loops in continuously. Now we need to give it the number of times we want to do that, let's say four. So then if I put an output on that, you can see that it started to make that sequence. I'm going to put a button on this so that I can reset it. So the first sequence that we had already is zero, one. We go to the next sequence, it's the one zero, so it's added up to the end. The next one would then reverse that, so instead of zero one one zero, it'll be one zero zero one, and it adds that. And so you can see how that starts to add up. So very simply, this is taking a simple function, simple algorithm, plugging it into the loop so that you can have a complex number generator. And I think that's it.